is the prime time to go to the cinema. So I am delighted to see so many people here at this time. You're about to see a film about the Dutch painter Rembrandt. When I go around the world and I ask people, who do you remember as being significantly Dutch? Most audiences say two painters and one political refugee. Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and Anne Frank. Θα δείτε μια ταινία για τον Ολλανδό ζωγράφο Rembrandt. Όταν ρωτάω ποιος είναι ο πιο σημαντικός Ολλανδός ζωγράφος... Ποιοι είναι οι πιο διάσκοποι δύο ζωγράφοι, ο Van Gogh, ο Rembrandt και η Anna Frank. If I were to talk about Greek cinema somewhere else, could you produce two painters and one political refugee? The occasion for this film was the 400th birthday of Rembrandt. Rembrandt is born in 1606, so in the year 2006, Holland, who uh, regard Rembrandt with great love, respect and affection, celebrated his 400th birthday. One more time for me. <laughs> Ενηλικιώθηκε. Έγινε την άποψη. Ότι η Ιωάννη Κιόρτα είναι 400 χρόνια του Ρέμπραντ, ο οποίο γεννήθηκε το 1606, οπότε το 2006 ήταν τα 400 χρόνια από τη γέννηση του Ρέμπραντ. And in Holland, there were many, many, many exhibitions to celebrate this extraordinary painter. <laughs> Translators' jobs are much more difficult than mine. I can say whatever comes off the top of my head, but the poor translator has to struggle then to translate whatever comes off the top of my head. Προσπαθεί, μπορεί να πει ότι τίποτε και εγώ να προσπαθώ να τα μεταφράσω, αλλά το θέμα είναι ότι δεν έχω πρόβλημα στη μετάφραση, αλλά μπορεί να μην θυμάμαι γιατί λέει αρκετά. Αυτό. And you might know the famous Italian guru, philosopher, Alberto Eco. And Alberto Eco said that all translators are liars. <laughs> Because he said that really translation is impossible. The only thing we can hope for is some sort of negotiation of the truth. Okay, we'll leave one. We'll move on. Oh, you don't have better than that. But to return to the subject matter, Holland was so enthusiastic about Rembrandt that they held exhibitions all over the world.
the country. Η Ολλανδία ήταν τόσο ενθουσιασμένη με τον Ρέμπραντ που έκανε εκθέσεις σε όλη τη χώρα. They held exhibitions about Rembrandt's mother. They held exhibitions about Rembrandt's dog. And I am sure, though I cannot prove it to you, that they held exhibitions about the fleas on the back of Rembrandt's dog. <laughs> Rembrandt's most famous painting is a painting called The Night Watch. Oh, <laughs> This painting is virtually uninsured. It is so expensive. <laughs> that sounded too short. <laughs> If they could celebrate this amazing painting using very contemporary technology. Ωστόσο, οι Ολλανδοί, ως πολύ πρακτικοί άνθρωποι και πραγματιστές, θέλησαν να εορτάσουν κατά κάποιο τρόπο αυτό τον πίνακα χρησιμοποιώντα την τεχνολογία. If you don't know anything at all about Rembrandt, there is one thing maybe that you should have some knowledge about. He's recognized as being the major painter of artificial light. And I suspect you know, and I certainly think that I know, that cinema is all about the manipulation of artificial light. Υποθέτουμε ότι ξέρετε όπως ξέρετε και εγώ ότι το σινεμά αφορά την χρήση της τεχνολογίας του εικονικού φωτός. So it is, I think, and I hope you think, very appropriate that the master of artificial light, round about the year 1640, should be associated with our contemporary post-cinematic association with the manipulation of light. Πρέπει να κάνουμε μια σύγκριση μεταξύ της χρήσης του τεχνολογίας του εικονικού φωτός και της σύγχρονης. So what you're about to see really is a 21st celebration of an early 17th century painter. I cannot show you now because we don't have the setup or the technology of what we originally did. But we spent, I say we, that's myself and all my collaborators, probably about two months in front of this extraordinary painting, putting our installation together. The installation really, basically, was about projected light on the surface of this original painting. Ήταν ένα φως το οποίο χτυπούσε πάνω στην επιφάνεια του πίνακα. 
Because the painting is so incredibly expensive, when I first started this activity, λόγω της εξαιρετικά υψηλής τιμής του πίνακα όταν ξεκίνησε αυτή τη δραστηριότητα. And remember, this is Holland, very practical. I suppose very uh, much a nation that's not going to be disturbed very easily by great art. Και στην Ολλανδία που είναι μια χώρα πολύ πρακτικών ανθρώπων και ανθρώπων που δεν ενθουσιάζονται ιδιαίτερα και δεν συγκλονίζονται ιδιαίτερα από την τέχνη, τη μεγάλη τέχνη. Because the painting was so expensive, when we first started, we had four police, three art historians, and three Alsatian dogs. Λόγω της ακριβής τιμής του του πίνακα είχαν τρεις αστυνομικούς, three police, και τρεις σκυλούς και μια αλσατία. Within about four or five days, I only had one policeman, one art historian, and one dog. But after about a week, they gave me the key myself to let myself in. And I think that that particular attitude, which seems to me to be very wise and very sane and very down to earth, is the way that we wanted to regard this extraordinary painter, Bremmer. Complaint? Complaint? You're complaining? I'm so nervous and I always say poet and not a painter. All right. Okay. Rembrandt was a poet as well, so shut up. I have to tell you and repeat, translation is very difficult. So please have some sympathy. <laughs> the suggestion then that this very down-to-earth, typically Dutchman, making these extraordinary masterpieces must be seen, I think, with a very unprejudiced, very pragmatic eye. This is the man who lives next door. Ε, στην ουσία το, το έργο ενός τόσο πρακτικού και προσγειωμένου καλλιτέχνη πρέπει να το αντιμετωπίσουμε και εμείς με το ίδιο ε, προσγειωμένο και...